What is going on guys? Welcome to another video. Green Room Collectibles here, back hopefully for a bunch more uploads. Um, this is gonna be a little bit of a grind tonight, but it's a good grind. I've had tons of action figures, like, and just I've brought in a lot of good hauls recently, and like from hunts, but like I haven't opened anything. Um, I'll show you in a second, but uh, yeah, so I got a lot of action figures to review through. I'm probably gonna try and do it all tonight, maybe get at least three done, but uh, yeah, we gotta think we got five figures I need to review. Um, and I've just kind of like been uh, busy with school and stuff, but I'm very excited to be back. I'm hopefully going to be start uploading much, much more uh, regularly. I've got to get that schedule down. It's just a little hectic right now. But thank you for clicking on this video and watching. It would mean the absolute world to me if you like and subscribe. That would be awesome and it would support the channel. Now let's get into the video and review this action figure. Hey, Big Bird! This doesn't belong to you! Oh, God. The action figures I will be reviewing, um... Yeah, it's quite the uh, assortment of figures. Uh, again, really good hauls. I've just had absolutely no time to open them. And then there'll be one of the Black Series, uh, the Heavy Mandalorian, which I will be opening. But yeah, here's a quick look at the figures I've picked up recently. And then now let's get back to the video. Okay, so let's just take a quick look at the box. Um, I do lo really love the Marvel Legends box. That is very good art. I'm really digging that. I don't know the artist of these uh, figure boxes. I actually just uh, checked out the Black Series, the guy who does the Black Series art. But um, yeah. I really like this box. Uh, I just like the side art. Everything else is kind of normal for Spider-Man boxes. But you know what's even better than the box? The actual figure. So let's oh, crack this thing open. Okay, so here's the action figure out of the packaging. But before we look at the action figure, let's take a quick look at the accessories. Uh, right here we have, we'll focus, the brand new Adrian Toomes helmet. Uh, well, him with a helmet on. Uh, I really like this. It looks really clean. Like, that's really, like, if you look really close to it, it's, like, really... The lining's really, if it's going to focus, looks like really clean. It's very, like, straightforward. It's textured. It feels nice. They have some nice aging on the action figure. Uh, really, really great job. You know, kind of red eyes, the wrinkles, uh, the eyebrows. Um, but, yeah, overall, looks really awesome. You can see for yourself. Uh, and then for the accessories, or I wouldn't really count these accessories, just the action figure's wings, we have the uh, uh, wings here and I do like how it's a dark color at like the core and then it slowly goes lighter towards the uh, end of the wing Which is cool. And then you get this too, which is another feather. So that's cool Anyways, let's take a look at the action figure now So I really really lucked out when I found this action figure. It looks amazing. Um, if you're wondering where I found it I found it in a Toys R Us in uh... You guessed it Canada. Um, I found it at Toys R Us in Canada. I do live in Canada, so um, yeah, but I really lucked out. I feel like I've had, like, amazing hauls recently. I mean, Doctor Doom, The Thing, Shang-Chi, uh, The Vulture, and then the, uh, Deluxe, or De Deluxe 2 Heavy Mandalorian. I mean, it's all just happened so quickly. Um, and yeah, I just found them at random places, but they've been, it's just really been stocked in my area recently. Uh, but I only found one Vulture. This was one of the only figures they had left, which I was surprised nobody picked it up. But anyways, let's take a look at the head sculpt. So... The head sculpt is, again, just amazing. You got that evil look on him, that evil grin. The paint is just so clean. And you got his red eyes, uh, or outline of his eyes. You got these uh, brown, like, spots. I don't, can't remember what you call those, but, like, they're, they're a real thing. Um, and uh, you got that aging on his forehead and his mouth. You got the wrinkles. Uh, but, yeah, very clean. I don't really see any scuffs on the head. It just looks amazing. So good. Uh, then you have his... Um, Kind of like white, I, I always call this a scarf, but I don't really know what it is. But uh, yeah, he's wearing, it's very traditional, kind of retro, um, classic suit, which I like because, you know, we're going to be getting that retro Spider-Man wave, which looks amazing. This guy's going to fit in perfectly along with Mysterio. Um, but yeah, so it's very uh, dark green on the back, but it's got some light green on the chest area uh, and the arms. Uh, but yeah, I literally don't, this looks so clean, like there's no paint scuffs or anything going on, it just looks so nice, um, it looks like, I believe it's the, uh, big, uh, it's the Pizza Spider-Man mold, or at least a lot of parts of the Pizza Spider-Man mold, but yeah, it looks awesome, and, uh, I'm actually really excited to get into this action figure's articulation. So, the action figure has really good articulation, as you can see, um, it's very visible articulation, uh, he can look up, um, like, that's incredible, that is a, that is perfect, he can look up. It's on a ball joint. Uh, he can look down pretty nicely. He's got a uh, head pivot, and it's a ball joint, so he can 360. Um, his arm can go up that much on the shoulder, can push down that much. Same with this side. 
Uh, he's got bicep swivel, double jointed elbows, uh, 360 at the hand, up, down movement. Uh, same with the other side. You got an ab crunch, uh, crunches back just a slight bit. You have waist swivel, leg swivel, lots of swivels, double jointed knees, and uh, hinge at the foot and uh, ankle pivot. So yeah, really articulate. Uh, I didn't really think I needed to go over that too specifically though. It's literally the pizza Spider-Man mold. I think everybody knows about that articulation. I didn't comment on the hands, but we have seen these hands before. I feel like a few times I just haven't. It, it, the, the hands are fitting for the vulture. Uh, anyways, there is the Vulture's action figure articulation, if it will stay. All right, so here's Adrian Toomes with the wings on uh, and the other head sculpt. Although I think the head sculpt is excellent. It's it's beautiful, really. I don't think I'll be using it because I'm just such a fan of, like, the bald Vulture. I don't know why. I just like that. I like that a lot more, I guess. Um, but, yeah, it looks really good, nonetheless. The wings are very functional. Um, works well with the articulation. If you're wondering, the way that I figured out how to put it on, because I'm kind of slow and I didn't watch a video or anything, uh, is I just moved his arms up, kind of like in the uh, you're under arrest pose, figured it out pretty quickly. But yeah, uh, the wings look excellent and they're extremely functional with the figure. That's kind of, I always say something and then something super ironic happens, but they're uh, fairly easy to pop back in and uh, they don't fall out too easily, which is nice. I, I like the functionality. I like being able to, you know, not rage about the wings all the time. It might fall off once or twice, but that's just due to me, like, still getting used to, like, you know, posing it around and stuff. But yes, it looks very good. I love the aesthetic. Um, and yeah, I'm really happy with this action figure. So the action figure stands at almost exactly six inches, maybe a little bit over it slightly, but that's pretty standard for Marvel Legends, and I kind of figured seeing as that is the Pizza Spider-Man body mold. So here's Adrian Toomes next to the other action figures that I have reviewed in this wave. We have the Velocity Suit Spider-Man, Ends of Earth Spider-Man, and Superior Octopus. The only figure in this set I don't own is the White Rabbit, although I've seen it quite a few times. Here's Adrian Toomes up against his greatest foe, Spider-Man from the retro line that was released uh, two years ago, I want to say. Here's Adrian Toomes next to uh, more classic Spider-Man villains. You have the Mysterio figure and the Dr. Octopus action figure. Uh, the reason I chose to pose these figures uh, together is because these all, all three of these figures were originally Toy Biz figures that just recently were replaced. We have Mysterio from the... What was that wave? Uh, I know Octopus is from the SBDR wave because he didn't come with a Build-A-Figure piece. And Mysterio was in the Gwenpool wave. Oh, it will come it's the Lizard Man. Oh my goodness, I'm dumb. Well, guys, that will have to kick it for the video. I hope you all enjoyed this video very much. If you did really enjoy it, uh, leave a like. If you want to see more, subscribe. I'll be posting many more videos. And comment if you have anything to say. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace. World's change. It's time we change too.